3-4 logarithmic and exponential equations. One-to-one -one property of exponential functions. For b greater than zero and b not equal to one, b to the x equals b to the y if and only if x equals y. For example, if three to the x equals three to the fifth, then x must be five. If log x equals three, then 10 to the log 10 of x equals 10 to the third. Letter A, solve. 4 to the x plus 2 equals 16 to the x minus 3. We can write this as 4 to the x plus 2 is equal to 4 to the 2 times x minus 3, because 4 squared is 16. Once we have the bases the same, then we really don't need the bases anymore. Uh, x plus 2 has to equal 2 times x minus 3. x plus 2 is equal to 2x minus 6. We can add the 6 minus the x. We get 8 equals x. In letter B, we're supposed to solve 1 third to the n equals 1 over 81 to the 2 thirds. We have 1 over 3 to the n is equal to 1 over 3 to the 4th raised to the 2 thirds. Now we can have 1 over 3 to the n equals, we could have 1 third to the 4th, and then that raised to the 2 thirds. We have 1 third to the n is equal to 1 third to the 8 thirds. So n has to equal 8 thirds. Solve 2 natural log of x equals 18, round to the nearest hundredth. Let's divide both sides by 2. We have the natural log of x equals 9. And then we need to go from a log form to exponential form. Now this is base e, so x must equal e to the ninth. Solve 7 minus 3 log 10x equals 13. Let's minus 7. That's 6. Divide by negative 3. So log of 10x is equal to uh, negative 2. And then we have 10 to the negative 2 is equal to 10x. We have 1 over 100 is equal to 10x. Then we can multiply by 1 tenth. So x is equal to 1 over 1,000. Solve 2 log base 2 of x to the third equals 18 and round to the nearest hundredth. Let's divide by 2. We have log base 2 of x to the third equals 9. And then we need to go from log form to exponential form. Now remember, logs always equal the exponent. x to the third is equal to 2 to the ninth. And then we're going to take the third root of both sides. So the third root of 2 to the ninth, well, that's the same as 2 to the 9 thirds, which is 2 to the third, which is 8. Solve log base 2 of 5 equals log base 2 of 10 minus log base 2 of x minus 4. We have log base 2 of 5 is equal to log base 2 of 10 over x minus 4. We can combine these two into division. Well now these are exactly the same, the log base 2. Now 5 is equal to 10 over x minus 4. We can multiply by x minus 4, multiply by x minus 4, divide by 5. So we get x equals 6. Solve 3 to the x equals 7, round to the nearest hundredth. The first thing we can do is take the log of both sides. Log of 3 to the x equals log of 7. We can bring this x down in front. That's one of the properties we have. We have x log of 3 equals log of 7. So x equals log of 7 divided by log of 3. We have log of 7, close the parentheses, divided by log of 3, 1.771. Letter B, solve e to the 2x plus 1 equals 8, round to the nearest 100th. Let's take the natural log of both sides. 
that's equal to the natural log of 8. Then the natural log and the e cancel out. We have 2x plus 1 equals the natural log of 8. So 2x equals natural log of 8 minus 1. And x is equal to natural log of 8 minus 1 all over 2. Let's find the natural log of 8 minus 1. And then we can divide that by 2. And we get 0 0.540. 0 0.540. Look back up here to letter A. We could take the natural log of both sides. It doesn't have to be common log. Natural log of 7, I can bring the x down in front. It's natural log of 7. So x equals the natural log of 7 over natural log of 3. And our calculator will do that. So you can pick any base you want uh, and then proceed as normal. So natural log of 7 divided by natural log of 3, exact same answer. Solve this equation, round to the nearest hundredth. We have, let's take the natural log of both sides. We could take common log if you want, either one. Natural log of 2 to the 4 minus 4x. And then we have to bring the powers down in front. That gets the variable out of the exponent. Natural log of 3 equals uh, 4 minus 4x, natural log of 2. We need to distribute. We have to distribute both natural logs. So we have 6 natural log of 3. Actually, we'll put the x in the middle. Minus 3 natural log of 3 is equal to 4 natural log of 2 minus 4x natural log of 2. Now we need to get the x's on the same side. So we have 6x natural log of 3 plus 4x natural log of 2 equals 4 natural log of 2 plus 3 natural log of 3. And so we got this 3 natural log of 3 to the other side. Now we can factor out an x. We get 6 natural log of 3 plus 4 natural log of 2 is equal to 4 natural log of 2 plus 3 natural log of 3. And now we can do the division. This is all over 6 natural log of 3 plus 4 natural log of 2. So now we need to get an answer for this to the nearest 100th or 100th. We have 4 natural log of 2 plus 3 natural log of 3. Let's get that answer. And then we can divide by, in parentheses, 6 natural log of 3 plus 4 natural log of 2. Close the parentheses and our answer is 0.648, actually 0 0.65, 0 0.65. Solve this, we can factor, this is e to the x and e to the x. If we multiply these two together on the first when we FOIL, we get e to the 2x. And then one of them has to be minus 2, and the other one has to be plus 1. We have e to the x minus 2 has to equal 0. So e to the x equals 2. We can take the natural log of both sides. So x equals the natural log of 2. That's one answer. And then e to the x plus 1 has to equal 0. We have e to the x equals negative 1. Well, that can't happen, so this doesn't yield an answer. The only answer is natural log of 2. We can't raise 2.718 to some power and get an answer of negative 1. You can't raise a positive number to a power and get negative 1. Can't be done. You could keep going with this and take the natural log of both sides. And x equals the natural log of negative 1, but that doesn't have a solution. Solve this equation. Let's uh, combine the two to the left. So we have log of x times x minus 3. That's equal to log of 28. Now both sides have a log. So now x times x minus 3 has to equal 28. We have x squared minus 3x equals 28. x squared minus 3x 
minus 28 equals 0. This factor is in x minus 7 and x plus 4. x equals 7 or x equals negative 4. But we can't take the log of a negative value. This creates a log of a negative, can't be done. The only answer is 7. On this one, let's subtract this log over. We have log of 3x minus 4 minus log of 2x plus 3 is equal to 1. Now we can combine the left side with division. We have log of 3x minus 4 over 2x plus 3 equals 1. Now we go from log form to exponential. We have 10 to the first equals 3x minus 4 over 2x plus 3. Now we can multiply by 2x plus 3. That's equal to 3x minus 4. Distribute 20x plus 30 equals 3x minus 4. Now I can minus 3x and minus 30. I have uh, 17x is equal to negative 34. So x equals negative 2. Now if I plug a negative 2 in, I'm going to get uh, the log of negative 10. So there's no solution.